So good morning guys. Tell them your exciting news. What you're so excited about for today. I got jeans. <laughs> she put on jeans and they actually fit. Not what do you mean? They're tight. They feel tight on your cast? Yeah. Are they suffocating your leg? No. They feel okay? Are you excited? They're short. They're short? Yeah, and they're like they're like really small, but then it has like a lot of space, yeah. like around the hips or whatever. They can fall down, so I have to wear a belt. That's how all your jeans are. Carly in jeans. We haven't seen her in jeans in months and months and months. I should wear this for like fall pictures. It's cute. And I should be. We should take the dogs. To no, <laughs> that was too much work. Toy, like these colors look good together. <laughs> <laughs> all right we'll go brush your teeth we need to leave for school all right so hi everyone it's carly and right now i'm in my bedroom and i was just facetiming courtney and we were talking about tomorrow because tomorrow tomorrow we have a football game and i had my neighbor go buy shirts for me and courtney so that's exciting and i'm picking out what i'm wearing tomorrow I already know I'm wearing the shirt because tomorrow there's a game and I'm super excited so I should remember this moment hold on smile try to film this video it's like um it's gonna be on my Carly Reese channel it's gonna be called Big Brother and we're gonna do like a whole thing of Big Brother so if you like Big Brother that's a good thing because I'm having Sydney and Courtney come over and we're gonna try to make a Big Brother thing and it's gonna be super cool the pictures on its way and I was wearing a vest today so this is not what my outfit looks like but so cool how like you just take a picture like that and it comes out but here's the finished picture so let's talk I get my cast off next Tuesday I'm really excited hopefully I don't have to get another one because you know this is my second one already hopefully if I have to get something hopefully it's just a walking boot or a wrap or nothing you know one of those so I have a little bit of homework I have Math homework, I believe. This is how we know my husband's getting old. Look at what we're watching this on is television. Not, that's not, has, that has nothing to do with age. Yeah, it does. I used to work in manufacturing. I always enjoyed watching things get made. What are we watching? So, how is it made? Old, to do with old, old people watch this, this stuff. This is not. This is fascinating. What is it? How they show how things are made. I know. What are they making? A, a baseball. Is it a softball? A tennis ball. No, that's not a tennis ball. That's a baseball. Oh, a baseball. But this stuff looks like it was literally filmed like a hundred years ago. This is how it, it's how it's made. Baseballs are hand stitched. <laughs> you did not know that? No. You thought machines made this? Yep. Carly, are you enjoying this? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Maybe I'm the old person She's gonna then. She's going to be a manufacturing engineer. <laughs> are you going to be an engineer? Yep. 3,000 balls per day. Look at that. Let me see you use the crutches. Let's see if you can do it better than Carly. No, go back. You got to do your hold your leg up in the air. You're using both legs. Right. Hold it. What does she have? The right. Her left. That's easy. <laughs> you can't even do it. I was about to try and show you. What's the problem? 
seeing how he would do on crutches. He thinks it's so easy. He's all over the place. He's going to fall any second. Oh, she hops around on one leg. Can you do that? Don't let it seem like that would be tiring. I know. Her right, her right knee's got to be in terrible shape right now from hopping around. She's going to have one strong leg. Yep. Her left leg's probably going to be all skinny. It is. It'll look weird for a while. You just going to film me making a salad? Yep. These things are tiny. I need a snack while I'm watching the dolphins win. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, the dolphins win. That's, That's like saying Notre Dame might win this weekend. Yeah, right. Against who? Syracuse. Doubtful. We lost a Duke. So, I'm getting ready to watch This Is Us. If you guys haven't What's watched that? the show yet, it's on, uh, no. I don't, I don't, don't know what channel this is on. One of the main channels, um, NBC, I think, maybe. And it's on Tuesday nights after The Voice, which I don't watch The Voice, but um, last week was the first episode, and now it's the second episode I'm getting ready to watch. It was really good. Kind of reminds me of Parenthood, if you guys watch that. Did I talk about this already in a vlog? I don't even remember. Mm -hmm. Anyways, Carly was excited to share something. I'm looking for. So you know her friend Emily that she dances with and hangs out with a lot and she's been in her videos. If you guys haven't checked out their YouTube channel called Family Coaster, go search for that. But Emily is on <laughs> Musical.ly and she got featured. Emily got featured. That's a really cool video. We actually dance to the song. Is that the routine? No. She made up her own routine? Yeah. Congratulations, Emily. And what's her musically? Emily underscore lyrical. Well, my shirt is the same color as my skin. Mm, not quite. Almost. <laughs> not even close. I'm so like tan. <laughs> it's not even remotely close yeah. to the same color. I'm tan. So how was it being able to wear jeans to school today? Weird. Did anybody say anything? No. No? Kira did. What'd she say? She said, oh, you're wearing jeans. <laughs> like that. So, Carly, out. so Carly wasn't able to get the shirts for the football game the for tomorrow. Sleeping. They actually sold out, so you're going to have to wear something else. You can still wear black, though. You can wear, like, your Lululemon jacket Baby or something. Sleeping. A lot of you guys were asking if Chase found his shoes yet from, Monday, no, from Tuesday he... night's football game. No. And Are he actually doing? wasn't the only one that left his shoes there. There was one other kid that we know of. There could have been more. So, I don't know. A couple, Ken and another parent called the school to try to find out if they got turned into lost and found. So, if any of you guys watching our videos, like um, the girls who we, I put in our video and link their channel... Um, if you guys know how to contact your middle school's lost and found to see if Chase's shoes were there, him and one of his friends both left their shoes, and you can contact me, message below something, just message, like, comment, like, a hundred times, to try to get my attention if I don't see it, and phone? let us know if someone can help us find Chase's shoes, because, I mean, obviously someone could have, like, found them and kept them, because there were, like, custom Nike tennis shoes. <laughs> So that's why we're so mad that he lost oh, them. Look. But uh, if no. anybody can help us find them, that would be awesome. So, I'm planning out my outfit. Well, I have decisions. I'm doing my hair like this. Can you do my hair like this? Do you know how to do that? Yes. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Will it look as good? Yep. Are you lying? No, it's just a French braid. Either my black and white tie-dye Lululemon shirt or... Lululemon? I mean... Ivriella. So for our final clue. Clue number 10. The clue is. Hmm. Name one of my four emoji pillows. There. So out of the four emoji pillows that Carly has in her bedroom, you have to name one of them, which should be pretty easy, I think. Think it's easy? Because they're my pillows. <laughs> so that's the final clue for our hoverboard giveaway scavenger hunt. 
And if you guys don't know what the game is, last two Fridays ago, we posted a video. It's called Hoverboard Giveaway. And it's all the details on a black hoverboard that we're giving away. And we're playing this fun game where you have to go through the last two weeks of videos and collect 10 clues, which are random questions, things about our channel, things about our family, that you would have to be a pretty decent fan of our channel for a while to be able to get the answers right, don't you think? So, in tomorrow's video, we will explain to you guys how you're going to go about applying to win if you think you have all 10 correct answers. So, just hang in there tight. You do not comment your answer below. You're keeping track of all of them on a piece of paper. And in tomorrow's video, we will let you guys know um, what you have to do. So, that's going to be it for our video today, guys. As you can see... Tori's extremely tired and Me needs to go too. to bed. Carl's tired. But I have to finish two questions on my bed. Oh, you have to finish your homework. Hard. All right, so that's it for our video. Please thumbs up this video. Please subscribe. And the question of the day is, what has been your biggest challenge about school since you're back in school? I can tell you what ours is, and we were just mm -hmm. discussing it. So me. Our biggest challenge has been being able to create good YouTube videos now that the kids are back in school and some days we just don't really do a whole <laughs> lot of anything, pies. do we? Yep. Is it been hard? That's a cutie pie. Look at her. Is it been just hard? Look at her. I'll make you feel better. I'll make their day. Look at the rat. Does that make you feel better? <laughs> Alright guys, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you tomorrow Wait, for our two year now. anniversary of Mama, posting videos every day. Alright, bye! Aww.